Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching another video. So tonight, I want to share with you guys an item that I have been looking forward to owning my entire life ever since I was a little kid. But back then, maybe a little bit too dangerous for a younger person to own, and that's the Japanese hatchet. Let's have a closer look. And as always guys, if you want to purchase Sonata at the ending of the video, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Alright, the first time I ran into the Nata was on a camping trip with my family a long time ago when I was younger. My uncle said, hey, go cut some wood. So my older cousin got a regular hatchet and I got the Nata because I was a little bit smaller. And I noticed as I was chopping through wood, it was just going through it like butter. And I thought to myself, man, when I get older, I want to get one of these. And now that I'm starting to do the outdoor bushcrafting thing, I figure, hey, now's a great time. All right, let's have a closer look at the Nata that I have here. This is a look at the scabbard here. Not the best. It does rattle around a lot, so I think I might want to get a Kydex sheath or holster made for one of these guys here. Let me open it up here. Now, you might have seen these around. Silky makes a couple of these in different sizes, and there's a company out there called Bare Bones that makes one with a ridiculously large blade. This one is 180 centimeters, so Hyaku Hachiju millimeters. And I think this is probably the perfect size for the Japanese hatchet. All right, let's get a good weight reference here. The Nata with the sheath coming in at 1 pound, 8.6 ounces, and roughly as heavy as two full cans of soda coming in there at 1 pound, 10.4 ounces. So if you're wondering how heavy this rig is, it's just about as heavy as two cans of soda. All right, let's get some size references. So here's a permanent marker. Blade length is about 7 inches. That's 180 millimeters roughly right in there. Okay, here it is next to the blade next to the handle. Heck, I'll even bring in a 9 volt battery just to show you how big it is. <laughs> it's pretty, it's a big blade. Alright, here's a ruler. So again, this is a 12 inches. You can see that it's almost as long as an entire ruler there. And I know somebody's gonna ask here, so I'm gonna line that up right there and we can see that it's just over 7 inches on a ruler. All right, let's have a look at the thickness of the spine, and it is a chunker, definitely a chopper, right around to the front here. And if you're wondering what a chisel grind is, here's a good example right there. Chisel grind and edge only on one side. That looks to me like it's probably going to be at least three quarters thick. Yeah, maybe it's just a hair thicker than three quarters. So here's a closer look, right? Stack them up high. About three quarters thick but yeah what a perfect illustration of what a chisel grind is and just a closer look at the handle right kind of swells down here in this area look at it from that angle there of course one of the major advantages of the nata is that it is very forward heavy right you got that nice thick blade a little bit of curvature in here. The blade is slanted forward and it is a chisel grind. So the advantage again of the chisel grind is if you're cutting on something and you're trying to chop down, the blade is sitting flush with whatever you're trying to cut down. Like if you're doing feather sticking or you need your chops to be more precise, very good for that. Uh, as opposed to it sitting on the shoulder. See that there? There's that difference there. So your cuts are going to be a lot more precise. Now the disadvantage of the chisel is if you're coming in from the other angle, probably not going to be as efficient as something with grinds on both sides. And if you're batoning, it's probably going to tend to pull toward whatever side that the grind is on. Now, I've seen these in a couple of different variations. I've seen them both available in the left and the right side chisel grind as well as uh, edges on both sides and as well as a full tang version. But I figure if I'm going to get one, why not go with the original design? Well, all right, guys. Once again, this was the Japanese hatchet called the Nata. If you think you want to get this in your bushcrafting kit, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.